Hey, hey, hey. Full moon. Hey, hey, hey. It's a full moon. Coming to you live. Terry Ann Hyman, Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook and on Instagram. Doubles today. We have a full moon. So much energy going on. So I'd like to take a few minutes, align with the energy, talk about what's going on, and pick some cards. I'm working with a brand new deck. It's Colette Baron Reads and Alberto Villardo's deck. Oracles from the shamans. So yes, today is so much going on. So much out in the cosmos. We have a storm here in the south. The full moon is really brewing up. And it's intense. It's in Sagittarius. And we're really, really, really working on a lot of deep energy right now. I know for myself, all this energy that's coming forward at this time, it's been brewing and brewing and brewing. And now, really, with this energy in Sagittarius, ruled by Jupiter, Jupiter's in retrograde in Scorpio. I know, a lot of confusion, right? But really, it's pulling up deep, dark stuff. It is. And I know for myself, it's pulled up so much stuff. <sighs> I don't even want to face. I really don't. But it's part of my healing. It's part of all of our healings right now. We all are in this together. We're all going through the same things. Well, maybe not exactly the same, but we all have stuff that comes up. There's no judgment, no judgment at all. When we can look at it as lessons in healing, release the judgment. That's how we heal. And this is exactly what this moon is calling us to do, to pull out the stuff that's in our way, to look at the bigger picture. I know for myself, these last few days, like right before the holiday weekend, some stuff came up from me, all that resentment, all that resentment. I talked about it last week on the Empowered Spirit Show, and I get, went, <laughs> and I kept going deeper and deeper and deeper into the energy and pulled it out even more. And so this weekend, yeah, I went away. Lots of stuff going on around me. Lots of drama was created. But for me, I just kept ascending. And I just kept meditating. I just kept releasing and just kept allowing. And forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. What a great technique. It helps to break up the attachment. We don't have to be attached to our stories. We really don't. And this moon is helping us to do that. Sagittarius is fiery energy. The Scorpio energy with that Jupiter stuff going on takes us deeper. Just release it. Look at the bigger picture. Let go. It's time to really cut this chapter. Let it go. And I know that's the work I've been doing for myself. I know that's why I'm so inspired to help others do the same. So yes, that energy comes in. I just saw the Mystic Mama come out. I didn't get a chance to read it, but I know it was talking about the same thing, about going into our places of hurt, about going into the depths, right? All of us, in one way or another, have something to let go of. We really do. Whether we want to face it or not, that's always a choice. But we can. That's where intuition is so important. Hearing your inner guidance. That's where your meditation practice is so important. Getting quiet. That's where slowing down is so important so you can hear what that guidance is. Feel it. See it. Know it. All these things I teach. All of these things I teach. And yes, lately, I've been having to do the same thing. I have been having to work in my own self. And it's easy to deny it. It's easy to get caught up. It's easy to do drugs and just forget about everything. Still got to come back to you. You still got to come back to you. And that's what this energy is all about. Where are you nourishing yourself? Where are you helping yourself? This moon, it explodes, right? We have that big old storm in the Gulf. It's coming up here a few minutes ago. My doors of the house are blowing open. It's like, whoa, opportunity to let go. Opportunity to let those winds come in and move it out. When we work with the elements of life, of the cosmos, of Mother Earth, we can work with our spirit. We can work with our soul energy. We've come in to do this work. Why not face it? Why not approach it? Why keep hiding? Why keep running? Why keep covering it up with the addictions of the world? Why? Stop. Let's just stop. Let's take this moment right now. Take a deep inhale and just exhale out. Let it go. Feel yourself coming into alignment. Feel that big old full moon. And it was kind of hard to see where I was last night. I was watching it. But know it's out there. Know it's shining down with this light to illuminate the darkness. When we can shine light on the darkness, we can open up. 
Just release the judgment. We don't have to. It's time to change some of those energetic patterns. That's why we have the tools. That's why a spiritual practice is so important. If you don't have a spiritual practice, go over to my website, terryannhyman.com. Five simple steps to setting up your practice. You can do it. You don't have to make a big deal of it. Just start. That's the hardest part. So we start with something fun. Create a sacred space, all right? Definitely you could do this. Definitely worth your time. This is how we move through this kind of stuff. We don't deny it. We don't hide it. We don't shove it down. I know we do. <laughs> okay, I know we all do. But this is an opportunity now to look at some of that energy and to let it go. To really let it go so that you can find that bigger picture. Find that work that you're called to do. Live from the spirit. It's so much more enriching. It gives you such a depth. Yes. So let's try to focus that energy today. Full moons allow us to bring to completion, right? Especially like tomorrow. It brings to that completion of energy. Really right now, right today, next 24 hours, we really have the chance to really put it out there. What do you want to explode out of your life? What do you want to open up to? These are the messages going on right now. This is what we can do. And then tomorrow, after this full moon, it starts to wane, right? And then we're able to release and let go. So right now, put that intention out there. Charge your crystals. Tell them what you want in your life. I know for myself, I move so much energy by facing the darkness. It's not pretty. I'm not happy about it. There's still more to confront, but at least I've started the process. At least I'm digging and digging and opening up. And then it will help you make choices about your life. Good choices. So take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale away. Coming into center. Feel your feet on the floor. Grounding your energy. Coming in. And let us just connect with Mother Earth. We're here. We're coming to the end of spring. Let us open up to that feeling of transition. With this full moon. Inhaling. Bringing that breath up the body. And exhale, bring it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling, opening up that breath. Exhale, slowing down right now. Maybe you're on your lunch break, just slow down. Deep inhale. And deep exhale. Pull your energy in, call all the parts back. As we open up, call in your spiritual guides. Call in the masters, the teachers, to help you with this process to help you process this light that is coming in right now so you can find that bigger picture. Really important that you can find that bigger picture. This is what the moon helps us to do. This is what the cycle of life works with. This is what the medicine wheel works with, right? We move through these energies in our life. Nothing ever stays the same. I posted that earlier with that twin flame quartz that went missing. Nothing ever stays the same, so we don't get so attached. I keep telling myself, no emotion is ever final because I have some emotions I need to release and let go of. No emotion is ever final. And then I offer forgiveness. Those are two amazing techniques that can help you to release as well. So let us just call in. We're sitting in the direction of the east, a little bit towards the south now for the summer. Let us just honor where we are right now, good, bad, or indifferent. Take a moment, honoring the directions to the east and the south, the west and the north. Call in above you, call in below you, right into that very center. Pull all that energy in. And just ask for guidance through this beautiful light of the moon. Inhaling. And exhaling. Take a deep breath in. I. Exhale out. Am. Inhale. Here. Exhale out. Now. Inhale in, exhale out this. I am here now in this. Beautiful meditation. Akasha Ellis was back in town and we did this the other day. Beautiful. It helps us to see where we are. It really does. I know it dropped over on Instagram with flop. I am here now in this. It's okay. It's okay. So take a deep inhale. Notice where you are. Let me see if I can get this standing back up. And then we'll draw some new cards. Yes, I'm just learning this deck. It's a beautiful deck because it connects with the earth. One of my favorite teachings is Mother Earth. The famous teaching. The beautiful energy. All right, so I'm going to choose three cards. And then if you want, 
your own card, let me know. All right, I've got a couple of people here on Instagram and on Facebook. I was challenged to do both, to grow my work. All right, I'm challenged. It fell, so what? We do what we can. All right, beautiful cards. These are so beautiful. I'm just learning them, so I'm keeping the reading very simple so that I can learn them. Aren't they beautiful? Just beautiful. All right, one, two, or three. The first card, here we go. The first card that comes up. I love it. Actually, two came in, so this will be the first one. Stand still. Beautiful card for today. Take a moment and stand still. Stand still so that you can hear and see and know. Look at all the fire going on above us. We must stand still. We must get quiet. This is a beautiful time today to do this. Imagine that moon coming in and just radiating light into all those dark places. Then they won't be so dark. This is a beautiful card when it shows up. The energy is to remind you of this, to use your tools. That's why we have them. That's exactly why we have these tools. So that you can sit, you can practice, you can learn about the energy of your spirit right now. So this is a beautiful reminder, the first card right now. So if you're running around, stop and stand still. Feel all of that chaos release, all of that fire energy, that, that tension, that anxiety, let it go. A beautiful reminder for this card right now. All right, the next card that comes up is actually a perfect accompaniment because it's upside down. And in upside down, we call this the medicine in this deck. So the card itself is called Wild Women. Wild Woman. All right. Wild Woman really has, I got a little request to come live here, Laurie. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Maybe we'll do a reading with you. Um, Wild Woman really just, it, it's a great energy. But when it's in the reverse, it reminds us, I think really it goes with that slow down. Like we don't have to be so wild. We don't have to be so crazy. Pull the energy in. Pull that into really depth. Pull it into the passion and desires. Pull it in so that you can stand still and figure it out. Sometimes this is good to be all over the place. Sometimes it's really good to be all over the place. But in this particular case, it's called the medicine. I'm not so familiar with it. Let's, let's look to the book. Let's look to the cards to see what that's about, all right? This is how Colette Baron reed suggests that you learn the card, you go to the book, you read it, and then you begin to interpret it for how it comes up in the drawings. Wild women, the medicine excess for its own sake of imbalance all right this is a warning that you may be trapped in obsessive thinking or behavior looking for release in places that will never provide it let go let you become really more quiet and more still so that is what that's about is that energy hey annie joyce is that energy of not being excessive of not getting caught into all that drama all right so that's the second card all right, the third card that comes up is Middle World, and it's upside down too. All right, so a beautiful card, Middle World, right? We have the lower world, the upper world, the middle world is really kind of like be here present now. I love the circle around the tree and the birds, and you see the roots, you see above, but be here right in this middle world right now. Be really present with that energy. It's all pointing to the same thing. All three cards today are really pointing to the same thing of being really present with where you are. Don't get caught into all that excessive energy. Be really still. All right? So the medicine for the middle world is do not try to connect in the earth what needs to be connected in the heavens. All right? The resources to support the change or endeavor you are considering are not readily available to you yet. So it's important to ask for help from the invisible realms from helpers in the upper world. All right, so this card is saying in the reverse position, there's some medicine here, that the energy you need is not quite available to you yet. That's why we bring it in from the higher guidance, all right? So if this is your card, if you chose three, you bring it in from the higher guidance, all right? You first have to bring in the desire. You first have to bring it through the crown, through the third eye, then you open it to your communication, your will, then you drop it into the heart, so that you can feel that compassion, that love. Then you bring it into the third chakra. That's going to help you put it out there. That's your power. Then the second chakra, which is begins the abundance, and the earth chakra is where you manifest it. So bring that energy in for you. Definitely. So the cards are really beautiful for today. All right. Stand still, we started with. 
Beautiful card. And let's just read what the book says, too. I feel like I did get the message, but let's just go ahead and look at the book as again as I'm learning these cards. This is how you learn the deck you have. Brand new. It's the only deck I've been working with all weekend. All right. Beautiful cards. Beautiful book. So the essence of this card is when standstill appears, it's a symbol of pausing. The act of observation and breathing space. It represents a benefit of temporary non-action. All right. That's what we said. Stand still. Very important for today's energy is this full moon. Wild woman, the medicine for that was all about pulling your energy in. Don't get caught in the obsessive energy. Excessive stress, anxiety, drama. So much drama this morning already, all right? Don't get caught in it. Pull your energy in. And the middle world, the medicine for this card was all about manifesting. Bring in that intention from the crown and bring it all the way down. So stay true to your spiritual practice and really practice the tools. There's so many now. It's really hard not to have at least something that you can do. Really, there's so many ways. All right, this energy is building. We've all been feeling it for weeks on end. Now's the time to really open up and clear it out. Really important. Very, very important. All right? So as you go through this week, you're going to notice the tensions building today. All right, tomorrow we're going to feel a little bit more of that release. We're going to have some stuff that's going to come up. We're going to see it in the political arena, and you may see it with yourself. I know for me, I have too. All right, but let it surface. Let it come forward. Now's the time. We've had a rough start to this year. Now's the time that this is going to move forward, and look for that bigger picture. That's what a lot of this energy is about. Look for that bigger picture. All right, take a deep inhale. Let me know if you have any questions. I know most of us are on our lunch break. Got to get back to clients. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale out. Powered Spirit Show is going to be a little late this week. I actually did get Teresa Brooks, who's going to be talking about handwriting. She's going to be talking about all the many things you can learn and do and use and how it can be helpful in mindfulness. Probably we'll get that out next week. If you missed last week's, I talked a lot about what it is about my own resentment that's been in my way of healing, healing from the skin cancer. I'm doing better each day. Each day I'm doing better. Yes, walk my empath. I can draw a card for you. All right, here you go. A nice, beautiful card for you. The energy is water. Water's emotions, but it was upside down. All right, so yes, they work with the reverse cards. They call it the medicine. So generally the energy of water is all about the emotions, the flowing of emotions. And today with the rain and the storm and the full moon, this is a perfect day to access it. But being that it's in the reverse position, it offers you that medicine. So I'm going to say that this is probably about let those emotions flow out. Don't hold them in. Do not hold them in. And I know this for myself. I keep telling myself over and over, no emotion is ever final. So let's see what the book says as I'm learning these cards. Number 61. Let's see what the book says about this and what the medicine for you is. Walk my empath. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Here we go. So the medicine here on this card. Time for cleansing, unwanted energy, and stuck feelings. Yep, there we go. Consider this what water does to the fields. It drains it's sacred ritual. I can't read without my glasses. <laughs> All right. So basically it is what I'm saying that let, let the water come undone. Let the fl energy flow. Let it cleanse you. All right. One of the things I was doing my meditation with my doors open this morning and that cleansing of energy that's moving through. That's exactly what this is talking about. All right. So walk my empath. Be sure to not get stuck. All right. Remember the saying, no emotion is ever final. You can tap on it. Let these emotions run. Let this energy move. Believe me, I have been doing my tapping in the shower. Definitely. And it works. It really does. These tools work. We get at it from a different thing. Good. Beautiful. Definitely. I'm glad. Definitely. We all need to be reminded of this. And I've been having to remind myself too. No emotion is ever final. It's just not. We can free free of them. When we hold on to that stuck energy, we just clog our energy system. We just bog ourselves down from change, from moving forward. So if you can today with the light of the moon, really help yourself to release whatever emotional energy you're holding on to. Let it go. Let it release out just like the water is pushing us down. All right? Let it go. All right, Brad, I'm going to draw a card for you. Here we go. Upper world. All right, so this is all about the upper world, really tapping into that higher guidance, Brett, all right? Really tapping in. All right, this was direct card. It was up. It was in the upright position. Beautiful. Look at all the blues. Look at that energy medicine there that's going on. 
wow, it's like a winged energy holding that full moon. It almost looks like it's holding the full moon there too. All right, so this is about tapping into the upper world, the upper spiritual guidance, calling your guides. Have you connected with them lately? Have you connected with that energy at all for you? Really important. We just call it in and we trust that it's coming in. That's the key. That's the importance of it, really. We just trust that it's coming in. The more you do it, the more you're going to feel that connection. It's like right up here. Right up here. Allow that energy to come in for you. Feel the connection. And then what do we do? We sit still. We get quiet. And we listen for the guidance of our own spirit. All right? The essence of this card is all about the divine helpers. All right, the angels, the upper guides, all about the essence of those helping people that come in from the upper world. It's a place where you can release the judgment, where you can let go, and when you can really discover what is there for you and all of that infinite potential. Really important. Great card for you right now, Brett. Great card as you move through some of these transitions. Open up. Bring in your guides. Ask to guide you to where you need to be right now. Get quiet. Trust. Really, really important. Really trust. Really important. Yeah. All right. As we move through this week, look for signs of these cards around you. Look for that places that you can stand still. Look for the places where you can connect to the place where you are. Really important. This is how we move the energy out. This is how we let it go. All right. Ah, coming up, let's see. I start teaching over at Villager Yoga on Friday mornings. Yes, very excited. This Friday it begins it. I'll be doing... Kind of a restorative, getting us set for the weekend. Definitely a little Reiki, a little bowls in there, essential oils. So I'm teaching over at Villager Yoga at 9 a.m. So come find me if you can't make it on Wednesday nights. I'm at Wednesday nights at Birmingham Yoga. I'm moving over just for the month of June to Villager Yoga as a guest teacher. Very excited about that. Reiki, two, Reiki 1 is coming up June 16th. Be sure to sign up. I'll be sending emails about that out as well and posting in the Empowered Spirit group. Come on over and join the Empowered Spirit Circle. Also, the Gem Show is this weekend. Don't forget, out at Tan Hill State Park, Saturday and Sunday. I'm definitely going to be out there on Saturday, so find me. I know some of the vendors. I can get you good prices. Gem Show, Tan Hill State Park. I'm going to be there Saturday morning. All right, so come join it. It's a great show, great for Birmingham in the area. Get you some helpers. These will definitely help you to do that. Definitely. All right, guys, this is an amazing full moon. It takes us deep into our soul. I know it's not easy. I've been doing my own work. I'm not happy with some of what's come up, but hey, each day I feel better. And you could do the same. You can. Reach out. You don't have to do this alone. I've been getting lots of help from my teachers, my healers. Really important. Really important. Then you can see the bigger pictures. I've been able to make other choices about my life, about what I want to do, because I'm going into the darkness of my soul. It's not pretty. I'm not happy about it, but it's helping me understand my actions, and you could do the same. Let me help you. Reach out. Come on over to our group. We have a great group, great support in there. Call me up. Book a session. Empower your spirit right now. Use the energy of this beautiful full moon to help you with that. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining. I think I got everybody that wanted a card. If not, let me know. Check it out. I'll be back on the air next week. Jose, Jose, yes, let me get you a card. You're always faithful in showing up. Let me get you a card, Jose. Here we go. All right. I got the wind, and we got it upside down. Now, I do know this card because I have drawn it a couple of times. So it looks so different upside down than right side up. Right side up, you begin to focus like, oh, I see that. So this is about the chaos in your life. This is about clearing it out. All right, again, this is going to help you to slow down. When we slow down, we can see what that chaos is. All right, very important that you let the energy of wind, wind moves things, winds create change, right? But when it's in the reverse position, the message is to clear out all of that chaos. How do we do that? We use our tools. We use our energy modalities. We slow down. We stand still. We really come into that part of us. That's how we do that because once you do, Look at the focus that will come forward. You will be able to see, you will be able to know, hear, and tell what it is your soul is calling you to do. All right, so does that resonate with you, Jose? That, that chaos is all around, so clear it away. All right, let the wind settle. Let the energy of that full moon, that Sagittarius full moon, come in and shine light on you so that you can refocus. Very important for you right now. All right, let's see. I had another couple of people join over here. 
Yes. Vrita and Ashkrita. Sounds like similar names. All right, both of you. Vrita first. Here we go. Love these cards. The Tree of Life. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. The Tree of Life is always about knowledge. Really beautiful. Look at that winding trunk. Look at the green lushness of it. Look at the roots. The Tree of Life is so much about knowledge and so much about tapping into that universal energy. The trees hold so much energy. All right, first time I've drawn the card, so I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to look this one up as well. Why I forgot my glasses, I don't know. Because I'm not used to wearing them. All right, so the essence. All right, Jose says thank you. All right, the essence of the tree of life. All right, it's a sacred symbol throughout the American, throughout the Americas. It's deep roots reach really into the lower world, the unconscious, while its branches reach into the heavens, the source of destiny. To be whole in your life's journey, it's important to have deep roots and high branches. Love it. A, a tall tree will shadow. A tall tree with shallow roots falls in the first wind, but a tree with deep roots can weather the storm. All right, beautiful message for this card. This is telling you to be that bridge between heaven and earth. Really make sure you have deep roots. Ground your energy. Really important during all this storm and all this wind and all this rain and all this full moon. Really be sure to ground yourself first and foremost. So find some grounding tools. I teach that as part of my Empowered Spirit program. Ground your energy so you can reach up into the higher realms and bring that information in. All right, beautiful card for you. All right. Akrita, welcome. Let's get a card for you. The Heart of Sky. Ooh, this is beautiful. Look at this card. The Heart of Sky. Really pretty. All right, it shows a woman. She has a mask on. All the deep, deep colors. This is all about connecting with the cosmic energy, right? I haven't drawn this before, but that's my, that's my intuitive hit. You see the moon in there? This is really being connected and aligned with the cosmos, like this energy of today. Where can this energy help you today? Very important, Akrita, to help you find this energy. Where can it help you in the work that you're doing? Where can it help you? All right, really important. The heart of the sky, really beautiful. All right, so the essence of this card, oh gosh, is the love force that makes all, con all creation possible. All right, really love this. The same force is present when you create with originality, when you bring formlessness to form or inspired ideas to expression. This primal force does not know good or bad. It is up to us, right? No judgment when you connect with this cosmic energy. The heart of the sky helps call in the beauty from the invisible world and birth it into the world you have. All right, so it takes it a little further than what I said. So this is a beautiful card for the heart of the sky. Really beautiful for you. It's time to birth something in. Bring it in, which is actually what this energy of the moon right now. Uncover the deep. Let it go. See the bigger picture. Bring it in. Be creative. Use the forces of energy. Use the forces of the moon right now. The moon is all about creative energy. All right, I hope that was helpful for you as well. All right, guys, time to get back to work. I hope this was helpful. As you go about your energy for today, really align with the moon. Let go of what it is that's troubling you by standing still, being calm, being where you are right now. I love that meditation. I am here now in this present moment. All right, that's all we have to do is be in the present don't hang in the past. Don't future serve. Be present with your energy and you will uncover what you need to. So be chill today. Lots of lunatic crazy stuff goes on in the full moon. Don't get caught in the drama. Don't get caught in the excess energy. Don't get caught in the wild woman energy, all right? Pull it in. Connect with your spirit. All right, look for that next episode of the Empowered Spirit Show to drop next week. If you missed last week's, give you an opportunity to check it out. When we look at the darkness, when we look at the shadows, that's what the moon comes to help us do. So line with that full moon energy. Take your crystals out. Recharge them. Recharge them for your highest good. Put some intentions in to help you be guided on your path. Thanks for joining me. Got to get back to work. Have a great day. Align with this beautiful moon to your spirit. Namaste.